So sorry about this. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I'm Ahmad Elliott, and this is now our hit class. Again, I do apologize for the time it took to actually get to this point. Um, technical difficulties, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to know about all that. However, um, before we start, I just want to make sure that, although I know a lot of you have already been waiting, um, please make sure to have water. Um, make sure to have your mat near you. You do not need hand weights um, for the work that we are about to do. And um, if you haven't already set up your favorite music, because I cannot play music, I would like for you to please go ahead and um, play your favorite music. So, with that being said, um, all I need you to do right now is just to stretch and get warmed up with me while I also find my other phone. Give me just one moment. Okay. Um, plus the last part of the description of this, uh, we're going to do intervals of one minute and 20, excuse me, one minute and 10 seconds. And then we're going to have a 20 second break in between. So what you'll also see is I'll be doing the work with you but I'll also be doing it a little bit slower, showing you modifications, things like that, so that you're not just going full out and without form, okay? So, setting up one last thing here. Okay. Huh. You gotta love technology. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're gonna warm up the body from the ground up. So I'd like you to just bend slightly with your hands over your knees and just basically go into nice little circles as such. You're gonna go one direction and then we're going to reverse and go into the other direction. So your main focus is not to get the hips, it's to get the knees. So I want you to make sure that you're getting your knees. You're gonna feel creaks and everything. We're gonna to try to get them out and then we're gonna switch it. We're gonna go the other way. This is also gonna warm up your ankle complex as well. So I just want you to just go into nice, smooth circles here. So that, that is just already. However, we're going to kick it out. So now I want you to pull in your core, tighten up your glute on the leg that's going to be on the floor. You're going to bring your knee up and then out to the side and then down. So basically what you're doing, you're warming up the hip area. So once you go in nice circles, again, you're going to hear and probably feel creeps. The more you do this, the more it will most likely go away. So nice big circles. Reverse. So once you just go out and in. So that's all we're doing right now. Your goal is to not touch the floor if you can. However, if you need to come down, touch the floor. Come back up, touch the floor, that's fine, as long as your knee is going out to the side and then in as such. However, we're now going to switch. So now, now you're doing the other side. So again, don't try to sit as straight as possible as you're doing this. Try not to lean over. I'll just stay right in here. Then we're going to reverse as well. So after doing that, you're gonna have your feet flat on the ground, kind of ground yourself. You know, it's hard to see my feet, but right here, tight core, squeeze your glutes, and you're gonna turn. I don't know about you, but I got a nice big crack in my back chest now. But this is all I would like you to do. Try to keep your hips in place to get as much rotation just in your spine as much as possible. Now this next part is important. We're going to try to get the shoulders nice and loose. So what you're going to do, I'm going to do this slow first. You're going to lift the shoulder. You're going to turn like somebody's twisting your arm, press down into the ground. You're going to come up, and then let it sit. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Lift the shoulder without moving your head. Turn, press down, up, and then you're just going to alternate sides. Try to keep your arms parallel to the ground. 
And then if you can, ramp it up. Once you do this, you're gonna feel cracks there too. But as you warm up, they'll either disappear or they're at least less so. Feel a burn, just showing up. All right, once you've done that, shake it out. Okay, so down, learn your squats. So, want your feet out wide, at least shoulder width apart, for now a little bit wider. And you're going to just, you know, simple squat up and down, just so that you get a nice side view. Once you come down, up. Don't let your knees come out forward. I want your hips to go back, and then coming up. So keep doing that. Because we're gonna move from here, step back for this. We're gonna to go to walkouts. So now walkouts, your hands come down, you're gonna crawl forward, hips up, come back up, stand. So I'm show the side. You're gonna come down in the squat, come out all the way, and then come up. So this is what I want you to do. Coming up, down, up. And then to get the heart rate going faster, if you can. Just a couple more. One more. Up. So that should avoid woken up the body. However, now start in place a little bit. Try to have your feet leave the ground. Your hands in front. Bring your knees up. Try not to let your hands go down. A regular jog. Here. Bring your heels to your glutes. Jog again. Then you're going to go side to side. So your feet are wide. And once you hit, go right to your hips. So it's not just going side to side. I want you to put your hips out side to side. Again, all right, kick it out. So, hold the out your water. Forgive me, I'm really dry. <laughs> so, I have a counter. And now we're about to go into our real work. It's a 30 second prep. So right now, you don't need your mat. But have it near and ready. So hopefully you got a little bit of water. You, sh you shift your body out. So before every exercise, I'm going to demonstrate what the next thing is. First thing we're going to do is reach backs, which is basically coming down, reaching, coming up, back down. And then coming up. We're going to start in three, two, one, begin. So we're going down, coming up, down, up. Now, you come down to the side, just reaching. As long as your knees are not passing your toes, coming down to the sides, all the way down, all standing all the way up. 
or you can stay down low right here, not getting out of the squat. But again, you have lots of options. Whatever your level is, I want you to work right through it. So whether you're here, that's fine. Or you're going down, coming all the way up. And also make sure your feet stay flat on the ground. Whatever you do, don't let your heels come up. So stay flat into the ground. Here, here, or just stand down. Right here. Ten seconds to go. That's all we're doing. And then we're set. 20 second rest. So, I know your quads are feeling it. We're gonna push that workout. We're gonna do plyo squat turns. So basically, so squat, turn, squat, turn. That's the work, and we begin. So here, 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 here. Now, for those of you who must, the squat, turn, squat, turn, whatever is comfortable for you. Now, for those of you who are like, hey, that first one, it's not hard enough. That's fine. Squat. Do a full half turn. Whatever is comfortable for you to work through. I want you to feel strong in your work no matter what you're doing. You can also go in between these. You don't have to always stay at one level. There we go, rest. So now, push jacks. You're gonna do push jacks, then you're gonna do a jumping jack in between. Very simple. Two here, down, up, legs out, legs in. And we begin. So down, up, hop. Down, up, hop. Down, up, hop. When doing these, make sure your hips are not drooping. Also, for those of you who have to be on your knees, right here, push up, then you come up on your feet, or even just knee, knee, or step, step. You have a number of options. So make sure you're also squeezing in your chest. That's where most of the work is. So hands wide. Down, up, hip. Or again, down, up, step, step, or even knees. Down, up, then come up, step, step. I want you to utilize all of your tools available. The rest. So we rest. So now, side lunge to balance. It's a plyometric option. Basically, you're going to start going, let's see, to your left or right. Down. So you're going to lunge and then come up. Lunge. Up. Sorry. Lunge out to the side. Pop up. Lunge to the side, pop up. That's all we're doing. Or just lunge, come to balance. So either the hop or just right here. Again, stay to just one side for now until we switch. In three, two, one, switch. So now, down. And then right here, down, or it's just up. Whatever you feel more comfortable with, 
or you just side squat and then come up. Again, if you can, all the way out. Make sure to keep your core engaged and right through. Rest. Okay. They may have heard the beeps. Make sure you listen to them if you can. Over right here. Wide, narrow, alternating push ups. Go push up here, go on wide, push up there. And we begin. So you're wide first, and then you come in. Walking your arms in, elbows close to your body. Out wide, elbows wide out to the body. Come in, elbows close into the body. Now, knee option, you have that. So right here at the knees, again, same thing. Down, and out wide, down. Now this is unique because even this can be difficult. So if that's the case, you can reach back, come forward, and do a push-up. Same thing here. When we say challenge pose, then come forward, push up. So again, your option of what you would like to do. Now, for those of you who are health nuts, you really want to get into this. Up on your feet or your knees, hop out, hop in, hop out. Hop in, knees two, hop, hop, and then rest. Oh, this next part. For those of you who have been to my classes, you know one of the things I love to do? Burpees. So, we're gonna do them in about five seconds. I'll give you the different levels. Dropping down, up, in, Jumping up, or hands down, step back, step in, come up, and if you want to jump here, that's fine. Or if you don't want to jump at all, that's fine. However, you can just down, back in, up, down, back in, up, whatever your level is, or you feel comfortable with it. So core, really tight with this, okay? So down, Come up. Oh, try to be light on your feet. That'd be nice. So, light, up, light, up. Or again, step, step, jump, or jump, stand, or completely down, step, step in. And just raise yourself. Whatever you feel comfortable with, go with it. And then you rest for 50 seconds. Grab your water. Shake your body out. So, here, legs. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, and I want you to breathe from your diaphragm. Don't breathe up here. I want all of this. <sighs> nice breathing. Okay, so we're doing all that all over again. So we're gonna start with the reach backs again. I'll be demonstrating the different levels again. And now, begin. So you're back. And then up, back, up, or down, come right through, down. The hips have to come up above your knees. Make sure that always happens, no matter what level you're at. You must come up. Or, just go down to the side. Move your legs a little bit. No matter what, your feet have to be flat on the ground. I wish you could see my feet better. Sorry about such a late setup. But if I just in case. Okay. There we go. A little bit better. So, feet flat. Now your heels coming up. Flat. 
up flat right here right here keep your knees wide abs tight spirits up because you will complete this three two one stand take it out talk for those piled squat turns so again you know the options that you have you step through you can do just a 90 degree turn or you can do the 180. but some of y'all are bad enough to do a whole 360 have a ball so again here hop here hop here hop here or here run here 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 or here here yeah. I don't lie. It's kind of fun. But as all plyometric work, very tiring. Very, very tiring. Even sometimes I have to bring it down a notch when going in between. So again, options, step. Ninety degrees. We need. Oh man. Oh, those killed quads. Kill them. All right. We're back to the push jacks. So again, put your hands wide. Elbows out. You're down in the severe power is coming from. So let's go ahead. Start off any way you'd like. Down, up, up. Let's keep rolling with it. Try your best not to take too much rest. Again. You need to go down to your knees. That's fine. You can do so. And then just hop or step out. Whatever your options are. Down, up, step, step, or down, up, then hop. Or just go full on in. Remember, you have this option. It's going down, in, out. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Rest. Okay. Red lunges. A balance. Final option. All right. Let me shake it out. Whew. Lunge out. Lunging, and then coming up. Lunge, and then up. What we're doing here, right up. Remember, a little hop. A little hop. Got close to that wall. <laughs> I was only holding it, my girlfriend won't mind. Guess what? Two sides. Down. Up. Down. Up. Also, remember. What option? You have that option. If you can, though, look at how wide they come up. Or just say, or even alternate in between. All right, take it out. 
upper body killer. Wide narrow alternating push-ups. Whatever level you want to go at, you will certainly are tired by now. Three, two, one, let's go. So, right here, huge jump, coming closer here, out wide, in close, out wide, in close. Remember, if you can't come down to your knees, here, pushing, pushing. So this is more chest, bring your arms in, or triceps. Or you can back, then forward. Come in, back, then forward. To remember all of your options. Let's go. Don't forget, you can walk them in on your toes. Whew. Definitely not a picnic. Yeah. Whew. Oh man, we're back to the burpees. Tough. All right, take it out, get your mind ready, and let's get ready to really jump into this. Okay, literally. <laughs> and begin. Other step. Raise your hands. Woo! Or come down. Hop. Woo! Or hop. And jump. Woo! <laughs> Have fun with this as much as you can. Oh, yeah, I forgot the other one. When you step, step, and then jump. Do whatever part you feel strong in. Sorry, a lot of mucus. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. However, keep going. Oh, okay. That's it for this portion. There is a cardio portion. Excuse me. There will be some jogging, there will be some ice skaters, there will be fire, there will be jumping jacks and mountain climbers. We have a whole array of things to do here. So, that being said, if you have 20 seconds to gain your breath, and we're always going to start with a light jog in just a moment. And we jog. So how are you doing? Now I know some people may not be able to full-on jog, maybe just step it. It's perfectly fine. I want you to do what you're comfortable with. Give your arms up. First thing we're going to go into ice skaters, which is going side to side. You start just by stepping, kicking your leg back. That leg doesn't touch the ground. However, once you hop, come. If you don't know how much space you have, you go really wide out. <laughs> like I said, as long as I don't make any holes in the walls, I'm good. But once you get ankle stabilization, from side to side. Just back to jump. So, let's come down to mountain climbers. We're 
Really bring your knees up to your chest. Jog. Jimmy Jacks. And breathe. Scissors. Back and forth with the feet. Again, you can step if you would like. Which is step, step. Otherwise, come back and jog. Okay, how's it going to kill me for this one? Fire. Move your feet hard. Five, four, three, two, one, jog. No doubt, your legs are coming tight, which is good. So, now that we got that out the way, let's do it again. All right. So, let's begin first. Ice skaters. We're going to start off with the step, then off to the side. Remember, back leg doesn't touch the ground. If you have to step, perfectly fine. You will certainly do so. But I'm going to see you try to get some distance. Side to side. Throw you off the ground. Another thing. Bonus, you can go down, touch your toes. And then come back to jog. It's pretty good. All right. Let's come down, mountain climbers. Come back up. Oh, Jack, because we're almost done with this force. Jacks. Thing. It's gonna be good. Fire. Which is move those feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Jog in place. We're gonna just jog. Slowly get all of got get out of all of that. Three, two, one, we rest. Oh. Mat time. Use this minute. Get your mat. Lay it out. Kick your mat if you'd like. Make sure you have space around you because our legs are going to be going side to side as well. We'll start prone, face down. We're going to be on our elbows, go to plank, and we're going to reach forward. For those of you who can't, you just keep the plank. It's perfectly fine. Same minute intervals. One minute, 10 seconds. And we begin in three, two, one, plank. Whoa. I think it's a little slippery on this. <laughs> so, here, reach up forward. That's the floor. If you can, have your feet a little bit wide. Touch 
Try not to lift your hips. Go side to side. If you have to come down to knees, that's fine. We just go and tap forward on your knees. That's fine. So don't lift your hips. Go side to side as such. Try to keep them in place. Try to keep your body up. Touch. 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 So what you're gonna do. Again, you can come down whenever you feel you need to. And just hold the plank if you need to. But I really want you to try to move as much as possible. So, three, two, one. Rest for a moment. We're gonna turn it over. For those of you who've taken my class before, you know one of my main staples, banana boat. We're gonna lay flat and then go hollow as such. We're gonna roll side to side. Same thing to one side. Then roll to the other side. Now you want to try to keep your upper back off the ground. And try to come up. Adjust your hip for balance. You're coming up as much as possible. Of course, you're tired right now. It's going to be really hard. <sighs> Even for me right now, this is hard. However, you have both your legs on the ground. With your arms up, just rolling side to side. We got one leg doing this as well. And then try to switch, if you remember, in between your work. Otherwise, go ahead. Try both legs if you can. If you haven't already, try not to have your shoulder blades against the ground. Your abs are going to feel special. After all this work, coming up, <clears throat> up, rest. Now, we're going to go to supermen, superwomen, because that's what I believe everybody in our classes are. So, let's go ahead, come down, flat, face down, hands under chin, lift, lift, hold for a second. Down. Lift, hold for a second. Down. There is no modification for this. This is really to get your back strong as possible. Maybe a quick up. If you can't hold it for a full second, that's fine. So, coming down. And lift. Come down. Lift. Come down. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes and your lower back. Tight, holding, and then coming down. Tight, and then coming down. Let's continue. Keep going. Well, I'll continue. You guys have already been going. We'll keep going. Breathing. Very important. We make sure you do so for all of your work. And rest. Oh. Oh. That was good. However, now we gotta do pendulums. So, pendulums, we should walk, wipers, whatever your choice of wording is. Arms wide, legs up. You're gonna go down to your left first. Down to your left first, and then come up. And stay to your left, please. Stay to your left and come up. That's how you're doing. Come right up. <sighs> Try not to let your shoulders come up off the ground. If they do a little bit, that's fine. What I really want you to work is your obliques. Use your arms for stability. Bring in your legs up <sighs> if you need to. Uh, knees bent and coming up. Because guess what? Other side. <sighs> yep. You find one side that is much more stronger, flexible, 
than the other. But I want you to still keep going. Again, your option, you bend at the knees, come down, and then coming up. And right up. I really want you to pull your belly button through to your spine. Nice and tight, and then you rest. Huh. That was nice. However, we're not done yet. We're so not done. We got you an over. Hands and knees. We're going to do balanced body spare. Left arm, right leg out first. So what I mean by that, left arm, right leg, then bring your elbow and knee together in the middle, and then back out. Bring it back in, back out. For those of you who do not have that much balance, you can either have your hands down with your leg going out, and then just crunching in, again, straight out, crunching in, or again, arm. Kneading in, crunching, kneading in. Or if you can touch your knee with your elbow, just go past it. However, we do have two sides. Let's go, switch. Should be right or left leg. Really turn, crunch in. We're gonna try to get as much of our abs as possible while doing this work. Going right in. Again, you do have this hand option where your knee comes in and you crunch as you press back. In, back, rest. Oh man, that was the first round. But since this is abs, we're not gonna get that much rest. We're gonna go right back in to the first abs that we did, which is the elbow play with the front reach. And we have been in three, two, one, and then go. Now, the wider your feet are, the less easier this exercise is, okay? However, the closer your feet are, oh, that makes it ultra difficult because your body's going to want to teeter. Your abs really have to compensate, okay? So make sure you're really challenging yourself. Again, knee option right here. And same thing. Knees out wide, knees close in, whatever's challenging to you. Don't just coast through. I really want you to work through whatever makes you work the hardest. Do this, we don't want to lean. Stay tight. Stay tight. Keep going. Almost done. Good. Oh, yeah. Not easy work. So not easy. However, let's go ahead turn over. Main staple, banana boats. Oh, these are so good. All right. Come up. Rock. Rock your way to a more solid core. <sighs> Again, legs down option. Make sure you're still crunched here. This is what I mainly want you to feel. Point side to side. I'm really feeling that crunch. <sighs> Again, leg up option. <sighs> Even if it's one leg, it's really good. I really want you to feel that. But then both legs. Oh, you're going to feel that. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> like I said, when you're tired, when you've been working, the thing you're trying to do, this core work, it is that much more amplified. So I really want you to pull through. I really want you to get a nice solid work through. Oh, Whew. oh, that felt 
feeling good. However, let's keep feeling good. Going back to the supermen and women. So let's exercise like we are supermen and women. And begin. Lift, come down. Lift, come down. Up, really squeeze, and then come down. Now, if you can only come up and then just come down immediately, that's fine. However, if you find you can't move your legs anymore, all right, at least upper body, and just squeeze your glutes together, please. At the very least, squeeze them together. We're helping with the posterior chain at this point, and that's why it's really important to really strengthen lower back glutes real well. So coming up and then down. Up, down. <sighs> really squeezing. Really try to hold it for a moment. Just hold. <sighs> Don't have too much longer. Make them count. There we go. It's time for our pendulums. So remember, we're going to go to the left first. Try to keep your shoulders down as much as possible. Arms out wide. Just like that. We're down. Take a little bit of rest. Legs up. Left. Boom! And come right back up. <clears throat> I hope you've all been enjoying yourselves or enjoy watching me kind of torture myself a little bit. Whatever floats your boat, <sighs> I want you to enjoy yourself. <sighs> the one thing about this hit class, usually I'm just showing and not really doing. I'm glad I have this opportunity with you to show. Yes, I actually do these exercises as well. However, right, boom, right into it. So obviously me going to my right, that's where my side is weaker. <sighs> well, actually technically it's gonna be my left side because my left is really trying to bring me up. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I forgot. Again, you have the option. Knees going down and then coming up. Sorry about that. Should have showed you. Rest. <sighs> See, this is why I don't do the exercises in the class. I will forget certain things. Perfect example. All right, however, going into the body sphere, we're almost done. So let's go. Hands down. Left arm, right leg. Boom, right here. Breathe in. Urgh. And then out. Oh man, did I really get that tired? I did not touch on the first one. Now I'm getting past my knees. Really crunch in. Ha. And remember, you have both hands down. Knee, extend your leg, knee, extend your leg. No matter what, when you extend, if you're a little bent, that's fine. However, I really want you to squeeze the glute. Squeeze back there, but now switch sides. Switch, boom. Then breathe in tight. There we go. That's getting the first touch on the first rep. Boom. I'm getting past that knee now. Ah, oh, I'm getting this thigh. Again, hands option. Tight and we're gonna get a little crunch in. So don't just bring me in. Crunching, crunching for me. Boom. Crunching for your body. Okay. Oh, guess what? You did class. Congratulations. However, we need to stretch. So, child's pose, please. And don't even pay attention to the beeps. I just put this last one in. However, what I'd like for you to do, child's pose, come down, go tight. Really stretch your body forward 
arms really going forward, hips really sinking into the ground. Then I want you to up to cat pose. Roll, let your head hang. Let your head hang. Roll forward, pull your back up towards the ceiling. Feel that nice stretch. Come back down, child's pose. Let's roll, roll back up. All right. All right. And from here, we're going to needle with our left arm under the right side of our body. Right under here, please. Just turn deeply. They're going to switch. Switch sides. Back up. All right. Get a nice left leg lunge. So. Left foot forward, big lunge, okay? And this is why we do a big lunge, so that you can lean with your body upright. I don't want your knee to pass your toe, but it should go at least over, if not and pass your ankle. I want you to feel front of your hip flexor and on the right. Speaking of the right, right arm up, turn towards it. And take your hand, your knee, turn. Big step forward. Again, upper body straight up and down. You want to feel your left hip flexor really stretch. I really want you to feel that. Sorry, keeping our bodies up. Lift our much turn towards it. And turn. So if you're you may feel like you belong on the cover of a Pilates or yoga magazine. I want you to feel that way. You are awesome. Let's lean back. Let's roll standing up. Here, roll that wonderful back up, hands out wide. Woo. Turn your arms under, press back further, chest really out. I almost felt British for a second there with my wannabe accent. Please don't ask me why, that was weird. However, hands. Clasp them and back. I want you to press down and back. Really, really shoulders. After you do that, spring arms up. Tricep stretch. See if you can see that. And since we have two of these, let's go ahead with the other. Because we certainly worked out our triceps. Most certainly. Forward. We don't need a huge stretch here. We didn't really work our backs out too hard or anything. I do want to just reach for us. Just feel how nice that is. And then I want you to drop. Your right hand back, grab, and this is going to be really important when you do this stretch. I want you to just yank your leg. Oh, let me do it this way. Sorry. Don't just yank your leg. I want you to first squeeze your glute on your left side, then 
pull that leg up to your glute. Don't yank your leg up. Grab, pulling your core, squeeze your glute so that you stay straight up, then pull up. Otherwise, you'll be doing one of these numbers. Okay, so straight up. Drop down. Whew. Let's go ahead, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So I usually have some Zen music right now. However, imagine it. Breathe in slow. Last exhale. So, thank you very much for attending our HIT class. And I would like for you to just take a moment um, after um, doing our class to go ahead, take a look at the list of our next set of classes, see what you can be uh, prepared for. And um, I want you to have fun. I do apologize, I forgot exactly what the next class is, but no matter what, all the trainers here, all of our class people, um, they're awesome people. I uh, wish you knew them like I do, but um, definitely try to make uh, whatever class that you can do. So thank you for your time and you have a wonderful day. Thank you.